Wow, what an episode. Not a lot to talk about tonight. This, of course, is a review for the Fear of the Walking Dead season finale, which was two episodes called uh, Wraith and North, respectively. We begin to talk yet. Don't really know where to begin, so I think we'll just go with the simplest storyline, Ophelia's. We see her, she's, you know, making a run for the border, going north. Uh, run into some car troubles, kill some walkers who try to attack her. And then uh, later crosses the border through a hole in the fence. Don't tell Donald Trump. And then uh, starts getting shot at by some <laughs> border patrol guy. Don't know what the story there is, but you know that's it with Ophelia for this season. You know, stay in the tune for season three to figure out what happened to her. So let's get to uh, Travis's storyline. So Travis, you know, he's at the hotel now, and once you know it, the frat boys are there and uh, Madison figures out that they were, they were talking about Chris getting when they brought up this accident they got into and she's like I don't know we should tell Travis or not so they decide they're going to kick the, kick those guys out I, I thought it was funny because I'm reading the Twitter thing everyone thought they were getting special privileges because they were Americans and they were going to you know because the, the, the people they brought in for some reason they had them in the, the parking lot Big ass hotel, plenty of rooms. You know they're bringing these people in, but they they're keeping them in the parking lot, yeah, or parking garage for some reason. Anyway, they thought the, those guys were gonna get special treatment because they're white, but no, they were kicking them out. Travis sees them and he's like, "What happened to Chris?" So they go into this coffee shop. They start talking to, to Travis, and Travis, you know, finds out they're lying to him. You know, they're like, "We got into an accident, car flipped, and he got thrown through the windshield." Then the later it's like, oh, yeah, we pulled them out. And Travis is like, what happened? What happened? So he starts beating the crap out of them, uh, locks everyone else out of the room. They try to get back in. He slams the door into this guy's head. And then he basically finds out that they killed Chris, which made a lot of people happy, apparently. You know, not a lot of Chris fans out there, I take it. I never saw the problem with the character. He Basically, he was like Nick. <laughs> you know, he Nick left the family. No one seemed to care. Nick... Uh, did everything on his own. No one seemed to care, you know. But Chris does it. It's like, oh, I didn't like Chris. Anyway, he's dead. For all you Chris haters, so. Guess you're having a party. Anyway, Travis just beats the shit out of those frat boys and just kills them dead. But uh, there's a problem with them. Like I said, the guy you hit with the door, that guy gets this super concussion and uh, ends up dying on account of it. So his uh, brother wants revenge and they break into the... Uh, Travis and Madison and Alicia's uh, room, you know, to do do deal out some uh, justice. But uh, Alicia's, you know, pretty quick on her feet and stabs the guy who's going to shoot Travis. I thought that scene was pretty cool. I had to rewind because I didn't realize how she had done it. She had stabbed him like real quick, and it was like wow. And of course, Strand comes in with the and picks up the gun that got knocked down when everyone started fighting. Starts shooting up the place and says, come on, everyone leave. So Madison, Alicia, Travis, they take off in a car, break through the gates. It's one, it's one thing, I don't really like this group. It's like, every fucking time they go to somewhere, they screw the people over. And this is another example. They knock this gate down, so now all the hotel people have to worry about people coming in and walkers coming in. It's like season one, when they were leaving the neighborhood, they just left that gate open. So they could go to the... Uh, army compound, free a shitload of walkers and have that place get overrun. And of course, the vineyard, they set that place on fire. And it's like, what a bunch of assholes. Seriously. What a bunch of assholes. So now we go back to Nick's storyline where he uh, goes out with his buddy with the drugs to make a deal with the uh, supermarket uh, kingpin cartel guy. And they find out that those people, they don't give a shit anymore. They're going to attack the, the colony, the colonial Around this time when he's telling Alejandro this, one of his patients uh, dies and reanimates and bites him right in the arm and then falls down over this railing, starts biting people's noses, biting people's fingers off, and then Nick has to gorge out his eyes. I thought that was pretty cool. And then, you know, Alejandro starts getting sick because he wasn't immune because he wasn't bit by a walker. He was just bit by a out-of-control drug addict. And, you know, he's trying to get his people to fight the you know, supermarket cartel. And Nick's like, I'm out of this fucking shit. He tries to take a squeeze with him, you know, the, whatever chick he's dating from there, I, I don't know her name. 
But she's like, no, I gotta stay here. So he takes off, and, sees, and he's, he's going out towards the border. He sees this helicopter landing in this sort of army base, and he says, oh, shit. And then he decides to go back to tell everyone. And this is what kind of se- separates him from the rest of the group, you know, actually caring about different people besides his own. I mean, he could have just kept going towards the base and said, uh, fuck the colonial. But he decides to go back, convinces Alejandro to let him take the people, you know, take over as Moses. Alejandro uh, st- stays back to set a trap for the uh, supermarket cartel. They come in and shoot up the zombies and we're, you know, in the way. Getting through the bus and they're like, Woo! Of course, Alejandro just sneaks in the bus, drives it forward, creates the opening so all the zombies come in. Wipe out the uh, supermarket cartel. And of course, all these storylines kind of intertwine. You know, Madison finds out that Nick had left. And, um... <laughs> yeah. And, uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, I'm forgetting Nick's story, like I said. So he's taking all those people to the north to see where that helicopter landed. As soon as they get to the borderline, they get... Well, a, a Trump rally uh, ensues, you know, the, these... Americans started attacking him, shooting up, uh, you know, uh, at Nick and his crew. They shoot his girlfriend, kill his buddy, and then we're left like they get captured, him and his uh, girlfriend. Yeah, so uh, on to rating. So, uh, yeah, I like tonight's episode. I had a lot of really cool action scenes, a lot of really cool kills. They uh, ended some storylines perfectly. And, they, you know, they set it up for season three. You know, uh, what's going to happen to Nick and Ophelia and Nick's girlfriend? You know, Strand got left at the hotel. What's going to happen there? I'm hoping that the crazy woman who <laughs> seemed to have disappeared, they don't talk about her anymore, is going to kill that fucking hotel clerk who I can't stand. Just... I say more power to him because I can't stand that bitch. And Strand's left at the hotel, so what's he going to do? <laughs> Is he even safe? Because like I said, uh, his group, they killed off two of the people from the hotel, so... Uh, don't know there. And like I said, assholes had to knock down the gate, so... I'm thinking he won't be in the hotel too long. And somehow he'll get back with that group. And of course... You know, Madison, Alicia, and Travis, they're going to try to find Nick, and then they'll, he'll, they'll, 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 undoubtedly, they'll run into the people who survived the, you know, the Trump rally, and they're like, hey, what happened? Like, a bunch of Trump supporters attacked us, and they took your, uh, your son, so they'll have to get him out of whatever compound that he's in, him and Ophelia, and probably, uh, Nick's girlfriend. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to season two, and I really did enjoy tonight's episode.